Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to answer the question, what Keurig should you buy? I've got every Keurig here and I'm going to explain each one. So let's start off with the cheapest and it's a really good coffee maker. The Keurig K-Express Essentials. It's got the word Essentials on the end, so it's usually sold at Walmart. This is a really nice coffee maker for $55. Comes in several different colors. Let's go over here to the most expensive, the Keurig K-Cafe Smart. This is an excellent coffee maker, retails for about $250. It has a built-in milk frother. It does connect to the Wi-Fi. You can control it with your smartphone. We've got multi-brew technology, five needles. We can vary the temperature and the strength quite a bit on this one. Okay, so Keurigs, I think, are kind of grouped into certain categories. So these three have milk frothers. We got an older one. I got two older ones back there, the Keurig K-Latte. It's got a milk frother, but these are the current ones that I consider. So we've got two that kind of travel. We've got the K-Express K and the K-Express Essentials. So these are pretty much the same. This has Bold Brew. This one is cheaper and sold at Walmart. Here we've got the K-Mini and the K-Mini Plus. These are really meant for travel or small spaces. Back here, we got the K-Duo and the K-Duo Plus. These are excellent coffee makers that you can do a full pot of a coffee on one side and a K-Cup. Same with this. Okay, so I did lose one coffee maker. I, I do have a Keurig K-Duo Essentials. I can't find it. It retails for $80. This is sold at Walmart. So as far as the duos, this, the Duo Plus is the top of the line. It's got a stainless steel craft. It does a K-Cup back here. And you can do a full pot of coffee right here. Same with the K-Duo. It's got a glass craft. Now the K-Duo Essentials is pretty much kind of like this. It's a little bit cheaper. It doesn't have a display screen. And it's sold at Walmart. Next, we got the K-Slims. I got a K-Slim Iced. It's got an over ice button. And this is just a standard K-Slim with the five needles. Next, we're getting into the K-Supremes. I got K-Supreme, K-Supreme Plus, K-Supreme Plus Smart, and then this is the brand new K-Supreme Smart coffee maker. So again, this is the K-Supreme Plus Smart. This connects to the Wi-Fi, this connects to the Wi-Fi. Okay, so now let's talk about some older ones. They still sell these. I still think these are very relevant coffee makers. I got the K-Elite. This is a very nice coffee maker. It's got an internal tank that heats the water up and then it brews the coffee. We got over ice. But if you'll notice, the buttons are kind of like, you got to know what size these are. So I really like the newer ones. They have the 8 ounce, 6 ounce, 10 ounce, 12 ounce. But the K-Elite is a very nice coffee maker. It's got the single needle at the top. This is the K-Select. Again, a very nice coffee maker. It's got the pictures. So you'll get used to what, what ounces those are. But you can do a strong brew with this one. The water reservoirs are a little tricky to take on and off. They're not the most convenient as far as handling. And this is the tried and true K Classic. So this is a very nice coffee maker. They sell a bunch of them. Single needle on top, single needle on bottom. Water reservoir again, you can take it on and off. It's a little awkward. You've got these buttons here to press and some lights. Again, it's got an internal water tank that holds water. You're gonna heat it up and then it brews the coffee. Okay, so back here in the back row, I got two older ones, the K-Latte, they're still making this one, and the K-Compact. K Walmart still sells this. Um, I consider this a pretty old, but it does work. Um, it's starting to get out, go up in price. They used to put this on sale quite a bit. Again, kind of the older fashion buttons as far as quantity. The water reservoir is a little awkward in the back. You can take it off. You can see how these two are relatively close. It does have a milk frother. Again, but again, I just consider these older. There's better ones out there. Okay, so I've got three up here in the front row that I really love. The K-Cafe, K-Cafe Essentials, K-Cafe Smart. So the K-Cafe Essentials, it's got the word Essentials on it. Built-in milk frother. It's got the single needle on the top. This is sold at Walmart. It is on sale for $79. It's an awesome coffee maker with a built-in frother for that price. You know, you go over here to the K-Cafe Smart, we got multi-brew technology. The milk frother does a few more functions. We can do cold milk and three levels of froth. We're here, it's only one. But this one does retail for about $250. It's very nice looking. I love these new water reservoirs. Nice big handle you can take off, fill it up, looks nice. Over here, we've got the, just as the stint, this is the first K Cafe. I love this milk frother. So for frothing milk, I can froth it cold or hot. 
does a good job. It uses induction to kind of heat it up and, and use a magnetism to spin that. Where these milk frothers, you can't get that bottom wet. You cannot get water inside there, but it's easy to clean up. It's got like a non-stick surface in there, so it's easy to clean up. Again, single needle, single needle, which is okay. And then the K-Cafe Smart's got the multi-brew technology. It's gonna poke five holes. Hot water's gonna come out all five of those holes in the top of a K-Cup. Now, what's nice about these K-Cafes, you don't always have to make a latte cappuccino. This will do a standard cup of coffee. So I can do a six, eight, 10, or 12 ounce cup of coffee. The buttons are here, six, eight, 10, or 12. Over here, I can do six, eight, 10, or 12. But I can also do a shot. So these have shots. And what that shot button is, it's you're gonna put a coffee K-Cup in there. You're gonna do the, put the shot button. It's gonna run two ounces of hot water through a K-Cup and it's gonna mimic an espresso shot. It's basically just a really concentrated coffee, but it's only two ounces and you're able to mix it with your milk that you froth and you can make a latte and a cappuccino. And here we've got a shot button right there. Now the K-Cafe Smart, it gives us two shot options. When the screen is on, I can do a single shot or a double shot. And the double shot is four ounces. A single shot is two ounces. You know, I think the K-Cafes, they're a little bit bigger, but having that milk frother and being able to brew just a standard cup of coffee or being able to do cappuccinos or lattes, these are fantastic coffee makers. Next, we've got the lower price, the K-Express. Very nice coffee maker. Single needle, this is the Walmart version of it. They pretty much didn't put the strong brew in here. This one does have a strong brew, eight, 10, or 12. This one, I do like that it has six ounce, six, eight, or 10. You know, the water reservoirs around back, we can take the water reservoirs off. They're not as nice looking as, you know, the case Supremes with their nice handles. I love those water reservoirs. Okay, so the K-Minis, we got K-Mini Plus, K-Mini. Pretty much identical coffee makers, except the K-Mini Plus, you can remove the water reservoir. Where the K-Mini, you cannot remove the water reservoir. So with these K-Minis, um, very nice coffee makers, but every time you brew a cup of coffee, you've got to put the amount of water you want to brew back here. They got little lines on here. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your water, pour it in, put your cake up in, put your coffee mug down here, close the lid. Very simple. Press the brew button. So this one does, the Plus also has a strong brew. And the Plus also comes with this pod storage. I have traveled with this. You put your pods in here and this, this is, it, it fits in a backpack really nice. The cord actually will go all the way up into the machine. Okay, so let's get over here at K Elite. This used to be kind of their top of the line. Very versatile, a lot of menu functions. I can, I can change temperature brews. I can do high altitude brewing. I can do hot water. I can do iced. But kind of an older fashioned design where it kind of tilts the cup forward. You've got the single needle on the top. But again, this is a very solid coffee maker. K Select, kind of along the lines of this with the buttons kind of the way they were with pictures, you can do a strong brew. Then again, we've got the K Duo Plus, which I really prefer. So out of all the dual brew coffee makers that Keurig makes, the K Duo Plus is the one to get. Then the K Duo, the K Duo Essentials from Walmart. Um, it's a nice coffee maker. It is very cheap and it kind of feels that way with the, the brew basket and things. Let's get into the K Slim. So, and this is the K Slim Iced. These are also very nice coffee makers. The K-Slim Ice just has the single needle. The new K-Slim has the five needle multi-brew technology. Pretty standard. Um, I like that they got the numbers, eight, 10, or 12, eight, 10, or 12, and I got the over ice button, which is nice. Let's get on to the K-Supremes, the original K-Supreme. Awesome coffee maker. First one with the multi-brew technology that came out. All, all the ones that have multi-brew technology are identical to this one, five needles, Steam or hot water comes out all five needles. You're gonna close it. We can do six, eight, 10, or 12. We can do a strong brew. Absolutely love these water reservoirs. Easy to take off, nice um, handle, easy for filling up. All right, now the K Supreme Plus. This is the first one with a little screen. Uh, really nice, we, got mem we can memorize different uh, settings. We got different strengths, different temperatures like three of each. We can do four, six, eight, 10, or 12. Lots of different settings. Very stylish, kind of some steel on it. Multi-brew, nice big reservoir. Now we got, this was the K-Supreme K Supreme Plus Smart. 
K Supreme Smart. Brand new 2022. Got the multi brew, multi brew. Very, both of these are stylish. This one's plastic. This one does have a metal finish, but they have a nice reservoir. You can see there are different sizes that you can lift up, easy to fill up. Not a lot of difference between these two. Um, yeah, there's a hot water brew button. Got an over ice, but the over ice button on this one is right here and it's right here. So these are pretty much almost identical coffee makers. Other than you will see these come in different colors, some with steel, some without. Now that this one is, it's got a fixed reservoir. I can move this one, the newer one. I can move the water reservoir to the back side, make it kind of really skinny. The K Supreme Plus, it's fixed. The K Supreme, the original one, I can move it to this back side also. Here's what the back side of the K Slim. These are nice water reservoirs, a little awkward, but they're nice. K Duo water reservoir. I do like the K Duo Plus water reservoir. It's got like a nice big handle and I can move the water reservoir around to the back. I can even move it over to this side also. So this is a very versatile coffee maker. Okay, so here's my three recommendations. On a budget, Keurig K Express Essentials from Walmart. $55, comes in several different colors. Awesome coffee maker. If you like the variety, the K Cafes, this is gonna be a tough one. This one I really do like. The K Cafe Essentials from Walmart. You can't beat that price. $80 right now on sale. You know, you're jumping up to 250 for multi-brew, a couple, you know, a nice screen. The milk frother does a few extra functions. Um, boy, it's a tough one between these two. So if you're got if you're on a budget, K Cafe Essentials. This one's also, but you know, there's nothing absolutely nothing wrong with the, the original K Cafe either. Okay, so let's say you're just brewing coffee. So these K Supremes are really nice. Um, you're gonna get up to around close to $200, $250. The original K Supreme's coming down to around $100. It's a nice coffee maker, um, but I do think these K Supreme Plus smart coffee makers look nice. You know, the K Supreme Plus, the original Plus, it's got a nice metal finish and looks real nice. I do like it. It's a great option. No Wi-Fi, nothing. Now, the ones that connect to the Wi-Fi, you don't have to use Wi-Fi. That's only for brew ID. It's going to recognize the pod that you put in, give you the recommended brew settings. It does it all because it talks to the internet, Keurig gives you what the, it, the recommended brew settings are, but you do not have to connect these to the Wi-Fi. If you don't connect them to the Wi-Fi, it just says standard brew and you can still select six, eight, 10, or 12. Even when it gives you the recommended brew, you can still change whatever uh, setting you'd like. The Wi-Fi gives you some added functions. They will reorder you K-cups if, you know, it's gonna, they're gonna know how many K-cups you've used. So when you get low, they're gonna reorder, they do have an auto reorder that you can have. And these do connect to your tablet or your phone and, and the app is, the Keurig app is really nice. It's got some drink menus in there and different recipes that work really well. And you can, you can actually with your phone, um, start your coffee maker and make it brew. So the K Supreme Plus is probably my pick. It's kind of in the middle of the road. These kind of, with the, with the smart technology, they're starting to get kind of expensive. But this plus one, I really do like. I think it's very stylish. It's got lots of functions. If you get into the K-Duos, that K-Duo Essentials for $79 from Walmart. It's a very nice coffee maker. But the plus, it's around $230. I do, I like this one. You can program it to start in the morning. You can have a full pot of coffee. I do like the, stain, the stainless steel craft. It is 12 cups. I do feel like this coffee maker is just made a little bit better. And then if you're traveling, you know, you're going to pick one of these K-minis. These come in really cool colors. So you may see some of my coffee makers have filters. They, the carbon filters may or may not come with it. You are not required to have one in there. All it does is kind of help with the taste. There's your carbon filter. You're going to change that every two months, that carbon filter inside there. But these you, have, you have to have these handles. And you either have a tall handle or a short handle, depending on your water reservoir. But you do not have to have the water filter in there for the Keurig to work. But every one of these Keurigs that you see here, you can install a water filter except for the K-minis. They do not allow a water filter, but even these, you can put water filters in, even the ones with really short tanks. So even the K-Duo, it's got a really short tank. You gotta get a short handle and it's gonna snap onto that black thing right there. Okay, so the last thing, let's talk about descaling a coffee maker. I've got videos on how to descale all of these. Now, some of these are kind of complicated how to descale. 
you've got to turn the machine off, put it into a special descale mode, run it through. The logic board inside has to see you do every single step in order for the descale light to go out. A lot of these have descale lights, especially these. Now, with the newer smart ones, with the update, I can turn the, the descale notification off. Now, I have opened up every single Keurig. The newer ones have this type of heating element. So they're going to, whenever you do a brew, it runs the water through the heating element each time. There's not a water tank inside. Now, this older K Cafe, if I took, when I took it apart, there is a water tank in there that keeps the water hot. These newer ones, like this one and this one, they have all this type of heating element. And what can happen is, is when you're descaling, these can overheat. That descaling process can be kind of a long process and it can overheat your Keurig. There is a thermostat on there. If you open it up, you can reset the thermostat. And I've got videos on how to do that on every single one that can be done. The K Supremes were the first ones to come out with this type of heating element. So they're not storing water on the inside. But they're very, very fast. When they use this type of heating element, it's very fast. I cannot believe it heats that water up so quick. Now you get in over here to the K Elite, K Select, K Classic. They're going to have a tank inside that's holding water inside with a heating element. Yeah, and these K Supremes, they were one of the first ones where you had to put the machine. It's got a great big descale light that kind of comes on and these are programmed to come on after 250 brews so no matter how dirty the coffee maker is on the inside that light's going to come on just after so many brews and the only way to get that light to go out is you have to put the machine into a certain descale mode some of the manuals talk about it some of them don't some of you got to go online and find the user manual online for the coffee maker but i have a video that shows you how to descale each and every one of these coffee makers by putting it into a special descale mode and i didn't go over every price of every machine i kind of picked the, the cheapest one the most expensive for some reason they've really been discounting these k minis you know these were on sale for 50 bucks all different colors so that's it's a decent coffee maker but just it is kind of limited you got to add your water it does take a little bit longer. It's not super long, but you know these have a lot more functions. So I guess I'm going to have to go find the coffee maker I lost, but I really do appreciate everybody's support. If you've got any questions at all, leave them in the comments down below. I check my comments all the time. So if you've got any questions on any certain coffee maker, again, I got videos on all kinds of these, how to make different drinks, especially with the K-Cafes. These actually make really good lattes, cappuccinos, iced coffees. So I hope this video helps. Thanks everybody for watching.